Ah, we lost again. Well, this time it was to the Colorado Avalanche, four to one. Joey McDonald was in it, and also the Leafs uh, honored Ted Kennedy, who passed away this summer, as well as did a tribute to the return of Darcy Tucker, pretty much one of my uh, favorite Toronto Maple Leafs of all time. Um, also, Joey McDonald was in it, and apparently a whole bunch of blame is going around the team. Uh, most of the blame right now is being pointed at Ron Wilson for failing to develop some kind of chemistry between the players. Like, um, our top-notch defense was supposed to be the best, but for some reason um, we're taking penalties and letting in bad goals. Um, also, the forwards, uh, they were doing pretty well. They were getting more shots on net. Uh, we're getting better as we go along, but unfortunately... Uh, Colorado's goalie was too much for us, so that means we gotta work on being pretty much the top scoring team in the National Hockey League, which I still think we are now, but for some reason the goals aren't going in the opposition's net. Now, I know a lot of you are blaming the goaltenders and uh, the Ron Wilson, the coach, but the truth is, a lot of the guys on the team are new, and this was the first game in the regular season where the frat line was actually on the ice instead of in the Marlies. Strahlberg returned, Tyler Bozak came up, uh, Stajan and Hagman were in the press box, but it looks like that still wasn't enough to stop the avalanche of goals that were poured into Joey McDonald's net. Um, personally, I think Joey McDonald sucks, but uh, apparently we needed a backup, and it looks like he was the only one available, but if I were Brian Burke, I would have went after someone else this summer. Oh well. Anyhow, Saturday night, New York Rangers come to town, and the perfect opportunity for revenge for beating us on Monday night, so go Leafs, go!